Hello everyone, my name is Clover, full-time writer, part-time magical girl. And real quickly, just because some people asked, I wanted to go through my manga collection and show you what I have as of January 2018. So yeah, first off, I want to start on the side where Will's manga is kept. So up at the very top, we have a Spice and Wolf art book and the Spice and Wolf Anniversary Collection, which is basically all of the light novels in one big omnibus. And that book is super heavy <laughs> and also very rare and hard to find. Also, that Linkin Park album is his, not mine, just a disclaimer. <laughs> and then we have a certain scientific railgun, which is one of his favorite series. Suzuka, which is a romantic comedy, etchy type series. Um, I don't really like romantic comedies, but he does. Girl Got Game, I think, is also a romantic comedy. Mayo Chiki, he's never actually read, and neither have I, but I bought him a couple books because it looked up his alley. Spice and Wolf manga, of course. Um, the first volume of Kill a Kill, which we got like in one of those monthly box thingies, and it's like the gold edition. So that's what that looks like. It's like a collector's thing. Um, neither of us are really into the series, but you know, collectors. And Monster Girl Encyclopedia 2, I think that is. Um, yeah. It's the opposite way that a manga is usually. So, I'm not really into it, but um, he likes to collect things like that. So even though he doesn't, like, read Monster Girl series, he likes looking at artwork. So yeah, that statue's also his. I forget where he got it, but um, I got him those Digimon figurines for an anniversary present just this past year. Okay, so that's all of his stuff except for a few novels over on the other bookshelf. Um, now we're gonna get to mine, which is way more. <laughs> so here's a pile of video games, which we just have there because we ran out of space for them. They're not really part of my collection though. It's sort of a mix of both of our games. So over here we have some manga that I won in sort of a raffle thing in the Thursday Matsuri before Otakon. Um, it's like a really old series. Kanpai, which I really enjoy, but the series was discontinued because Tokyo Pop USA went under, so there's only two volumes currently, which I'm still really salty about. Uh, Witchbuster, I haven't really collected any more of that. I have the entire series of Bakuman here. Um, that's one of my favorite series. It's really, really good. Um, so the two creators of that series, they're like my favorite manga artists. I also have the entire series of Death Note, which you'll see on the other bookshelf. I still need to read their newest one that they came out with, but yes. I also have the entire series of Mare here. Um, really love that one. It's a really good kind of like middle grade fantasy manga series. So it's definitely good for, like, younger manga readers, because a lot of manga sort of has, like, a lot of sexual situations and stuff, which I don't think is good for younger readers. And while Mare has, like, this one volume here that sort of has boobage, if you can see, um, it's, it's pretty tame. <laughs> like, that's the extent of it. Anyway... So here we have a bunch of like old computer games, which are all mine, along with my little CD case. But behind that, I have the entire series of Nora, which is a really underrated series, but I like it a lot. And my friend Tiffany introduced me to that series. If I could get it back in, that would be great. There we go. Peacemaker. Um, another series which I believe, I don't know if it got discontinued because like this series got printed by Tokyopop, but Peacemaker Kuragane, which is like a time skip thing, is printed by someone else, but I'm pretty sure there's only these three 
volumes in English. There might be a fourth one, but it never got past that, so it is what it is. Comic Party. The manga is really different from the anime. I would say the anime is pretty child-friendly, but the manga is not. So, just a warning for all of you. Um, behind here, this whole half of the shelf is just all, like, manga series that I only have the first volume of. So we have um, some romantic comedies here that I wanted to give a try on this side. Uh, My Neighbor Seiki-kun, um, well, it's Tonari no Seiki-kun. Um, I really don't like the English title, but um, that's a really funny comedy series, so check that out. Rave Master, I never bothered to buy more of because I was just borrowing it from my friend Sean. Soul Eater, you all know what that is. Moon Phase, um, I, I don't really know what that series is about. I think it's about vampires, but I never, like, read that much of it. Um, this is another really underrated one. It's a comedy, kind of like Slice of Life series, um, about, uh, an all-boys boarding school. And, uh, I don't know. Like, one day, I just saw it in Second and Charles, and I picked it up, and I really liked it. So, yeah. Siren. Uh, I remember reading that in Shonen Jump when it first came out, and I thought the series was so promising, and then it just started going downhill, and I'm really sad about it. Blue Exorcist. Um, I got the first volume because I thought the premise was cool, but it didn't really capture me, so I didn't read past that. I just have this random, like single of Bobo Bo. It's not even, like, numbered or anything. Dr. Slump, I really need to collect more of that. Um, anyway, moving on down here. This is also Will's, obviously. It's a binder for cards. So this entire shelf is Naruto, which was the first manga series I ever started collecting, and obviously my collection is not complete because I only have up to volume 41, and that's because... I don't know, I I just felt like I wanted to start collecting other series that weren't as long. <laughs> um, so I don't collect long series anymore. I, I started like collecting Bleach, I got eight volumes and then I just kind of gave up. Um, and then I got rid of them, so I don't know. And then just this random single book that's Itachi's story because he's my favorite character, but I haven't read it because I know it's going to make me cry and ugh. <laughs> You know how it is. And then this bottom shelf is just random books that aren't manga. Um, I might show that off one day, but not in this video. Um, up here, just have random plushies, some Sailor Moon proplicas, um, my labyrinth thing. Litwick is facing the wrong way. There we go. Nice. And more random plushies and Madoka Magica ornaments or phone charms or something, I think. Um, anyway, so this shelf is my Magical Girl shelf, as you can plainly see. So behind here we have um, the entire re-released series of Sailor Moon. I have a couple Japanese volumes and a couple of the old English volumes. So... Um, Eventually, I kind of want to collect all of the old English volumes, but um, I'm just kind of picking them up as I see them in bookstores, like used bookstores. Um, I have all of Wedding Peach behind these Madoka Magica figurines, including this um, like side story thing, um, which, by the way, I have the two Sailor Moon like short story collection things, I think they are. <laughs> this one volume of Saint Tail, another really underrated series. I need to collect more of the manga, but like I said, it's kind of hard to find, but you can watch the anime, it's good. Um, I have all of Tokyo Mew Mew. Need to start collecting Tokyo Mew Mew a la mode, but it took me so long to collect all of the Tokyo Mew Mew volumes because I was really picky about it. I started collecting um, let me move this one out of the way. But I started collecting them, um, specifically the ones with, uh, like, the sparkly title. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can kind of see the sparkle. 
but I got this sparkly title and there's some volumes that don't have that sparkly title but I wanted to get all of them with the sparkly title so they would all be the same. Ugh, I'm so picky. Um, two volumes of Pixie Pop. I have read the entire series. I just want to own it. Um, two volumes of Mink. That's another series that a lot of people don't know about. Guardian Angel Geten, I think, got a re-release as Mamote something, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, I only have four volumes, so, eh. Um, started collecting Full Moon, so that's that. Um, I really need to watch the anime for it, to be honest. Um, started collecting Pre-Tier, another one I need to watch the anime of. Um, Sarah's Celestial Legend, I watched the entire anime, and it was fantastic, so that's why I'm starting to collect the manga. Um, Fairy Idol Canon... Got some Sugar Sugar Rune here, another really underrated series. I love it. A lot of people are put off by the art style, but I think it's really unique and the story premise is really cool. Um, I also like how the two main characters are rivals, but they're also friends and they don't like have that bitter rivalry, stupid trope like throughout it. They're they're pretty close. I mean they're they try to do that trope at one point, but it it goes back to them being friends. <laughs> so I like that. Um, so yeah, uh, Peach, Peachy, Peach. <laughs> I'm probably butchering that title. It's basically Mermaid Melody uh, here in America. And then I have... What is this? <laughs> I don't even remember. A lot of these I bought a long time ago. This is... Oh, it's Princess Tutu, duh. <laughs> it's really hard to, like, read the title on the side. That doesn't look like it says Tutu. So, I am dumb. So, yeah. And then I have some, like, random things here. Um, Fairy Navigator Runa and Guardian Hearts. I don't know if Guardian Hearts really counts as Magical Girl. And these two don't count as Magical Girl either, but they're kind of more girly series, so I just put them here because they wouldn't really fit in on any of my other shelves. Um, and then, of course, Magic Knight Ray Earth. I have the first omnibus. I still need to get the second one. And I don't know if there's a third one. There might be. Let me just fix Maduka here. Yes, I have Maduka and Devil Homura. Yay. <laughs> anyway... So, the next shelf is all of my more dark, gothic type series. So, I have 15 volumes of Vampire Night. I am very close to collecting the entire series because there's 19 volumes, so I need to keep up with that. Um, the Kind Saga, I have all of it, and that is a uh, precursor to the Godchild series, which I only have five volumes of. And, uh, yeah... That's also one of my favorite manga artists. Um, her work is really great. I also have Fairy Cube, which is also by Kaoru Yuki. She's amazing. Read her stuff. Support her. 100%. Um, then I have two volumes of Millennium Snow, and then they started... It, like, the series went on a super long hiatus, and then it came back, so... And then I have my book there, because... It is also a gothic book, so it belongs on the gothic shelf, even though it's not manga. Fight me. <laughs> um, and then I have the entire series of Death Note, including the How to Read guide thingy and the two, uh, I guess they're light novels that came out. They're kind of like side stories about L, um, who's the most popular character, so that's cool. One volume of Black Butler. Ah! How'd my dusting cloth get back there? Also, Vine Sauce Kazoo. Gotta love it. <laughs> On the gothic shelf, yes. Um, anyway, I'm getting distracted. So, one volume of Black Butler. And then, this series is freaking amazing. Like, oh my god. So, it's not really a series per se. It's like um, a collection of short stories all about... Um, something called plant dolls, which basically, um, they're like, they're like living dolls almost, and you're only supposed to feed them milk, and then like, 
a sugar cookie once a week and um, it's basically just a bunch of dark short stories about people like either mistreating their dolls or becoming too attached to them or whatever. The series is really underrated and I think the art is beautiful and the stories just really make you think and I love it. I might do a full reveal of, <laughs> review of that one day because it's really good. And then um, Alice in the Country of Hearts, I also have that omnibus there because I got these five and then I never, like, they never printed a six book in just that standard size, so I had to get the omnibus, which is book five and six together, which really makes me mad because I like everything to be uniform, as you could tell by my Tokyo Mew Mew title thing. Ugh, whatever. <clears throat> Next shelf is um, my more girly series <laughs> shelf. Um, so we got Chobits. I originally put that on my gothic series shelf, but I kind of ran out of room, which is why I started, like, stacking things on top. Um, so yeah, it got moved to the girly series because it's pretty girly. Um, I got a few of the collector's edition of Fruits Baskets. Um, I started to collect the regular volumes, but... When these started coming out, I was like, okay, I guess I'll just get those instead and sell off my old ones. Mixed Vegetables, really underrated series. It's one of the few romantic comedies I can actually stand. Because um, it's really interesting. It's, like, about cooking and, um, like, fighting against... Um, expectations of women in society and stuff like that. Um, Kitchen Princess, another series that's a romantic comedy about cooking. <laughs> um, only she is, like, you know, um, trying to be a pastry chef. So, that's cool. Another romantic comedy series. I say I don't like romantic comedies, and then I have all these romantic comedies. What? Um, so yeah, this is from the creator of Inuyasha and Ranma One Half. This is one of the lesser known series. I found out about this series through an ad on a Ranma One Half DVD. <laughs> so I decided to start getting it. Because apparently it's about um, an artist who falls in love with this girl or whatever. I actually haven't started reading it yet. I just decided to buy it and then have it sit on my shelf because I'm terrible. <laughs> Same with this one. It's about a comic artist, I think, and it's another romantic comedy, and I haven't read it. Ah! I did read this one, though. This one's good. Um, voice Over Seiyuu Academy. Um, this girl wants to be a voice actress, but the problem is her voice sounds like a man. <laughs> Um, I think that's a hilarious premise, and, um, uh, I was, like, really into wanting to become a voice actor, but since the strike and everything came out about how voice actors don't really get to choose or find out who they're voicing, like, the character they're voicing, I don't know. I don't think I really want to do that anymore. <laughs> um, anyway... Um, Happy Marriage, this is like a really adult series with lots of sexual situations, so if you're under 18, do not read. Um, Tokyo Boys and Girls, that's another romantic comedy series. I have to, like, just admit to myself that I like romantic comedies because this is not good. Skip Beat, this is a great series. Um, I, I discovered this series at, like, the right time in my life because I was getting over a bad breakup, and this series is all about um, getting revenge on a guy who wronged you, and I think that's pretty great. <laughs> um, anyway, and then I have the, in, well, kind of the entire series of Deanne Angel. I got all of the volumes in English that have come out. Um, it's not the full series. I think there's actually like 15 volumes, but again, Tokyo Pop USA went under and screwed us all. So yeah, um, if you want to read the entire series, you'll just have to read these through and then go online and look at fran the fan translations. So that sucks. Okay, almost done. Next shelf. Hello, Pokemon plushies. Um, 
Strike Witches, another series that I got two volumes of and then I never read and it's just been sitting on my shelf. It looks kind of like etchy though, so I'm not really sure. But <laughs> I say that, but then Strawberry Panic, the complete manga collection, that is totally an etchy series. And not only is it an etchy series, but it's also a yearly etchy series. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's really cute though. Like it, it takes place... Um, at this Catholic school, and that girl's, like, super hardcore lesbian. <laughs> oh, and these two are super hardcore lesbian, too. Forgot about that. Anyway, it's a cute series, though, so don't let, don't let boobs put you off. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Like, everybody loves boobs. Even, even girls who are straight love boobs. Anyway, um, no game, no life. Um, there's only one manga bleh, manga volume, so I started getting the light novels, which I've fallen behind in buying because I think there's like six out now, and I only have four. So, gotta get on that. Lupin the Third, um, I need to get more of that. It's an older series, and I really like the art style. Slayers, don't let this deceive you. This... This is not a manga book. This is a frickin' chapter book. <laughs> so, that's interesting. I'm not gonna bother trying to push that back in until after the video. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! got all of the original series in one volume of Duelist. Need to collect more of that. Started collecting Beyblade. Oh yeah, this shelf is like my more boyish series <laughs> shelf. Um, so yeah, that's why there's all these, like, um, toy series. One volume of Digimon, Del Toro Quest. Freaking amazing. I need to collect more of this. I watched the entire anime, and it was fantastic. If you are a fan of the chapter books here in America, you will love the anime. You will love the manga. Get it. Get it now. Watch it. Read it. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Um... This is just a random, like, one-off Pokemon Mystery Dungeon manga thing. Because um, I like the Mystery Dungeon games, so I thought I would give it a read. But it's not as good as this series, which is Pokemon Adventures. I have the entire collectors of the Red and Blue series. Um, there's seven. The next seven books are Gold and Silver, so that's next on my list to get. And then... Lastly, we have the bottom shelf here, which is just like miscellaneous omnibus books that wouldn't fit anywhere else. So I have five out of seven volumes of With the Light, Raising an Autistic Child. It's a drama series. Like, I think this would be great to adapt into a live-action drama in Japan. Like, make it happen. This series made me cry so much. Oh my god. And I'm not even finished with it. Imagine me reading the final volume. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Hollow Fields. Bought it. Haven't read it yet, but it looks steampunky, so I think I might like it. Um, I Am Here. Bought it. Haven't read it yet, but um, the summary sounded like it would be interesting. Wild at Heart. This is from the... Um, same manga artist who did Kitchen Princess, so that's why I got it, because I like her work. I read it. Um, it's, it's all right. Um, basically, they, like, start living with this guy who apparently, um, grew up in the wild, and they're trying to, like, um, make him acceptable to society or something. I, <laughs> it's, it's a weird premise, but, um, yeah, she basically falls in love with him and blah, blah, blah. Um, but anyway, it's not as good as Kitchen Princess, but it's still pretty alright. So if you are a collector and just want to get it because it's from the same artist like I am, then go ahead. Um, which isn't technically manga, but there's, like, comic portions in the chapter book, so I decided to put it there anyway. And then we have, um, some of... Will's, like, uh, Mamoru Hosoda movie things. 
like collector thingies. So The Boy and the Beast, Summer Wars doesn't want to stand up on the bookshelf, so I just <laughs> let them lay. Um, and then Wolf Children, which is my favorite. It is a big, big book, and that's... I don't think this is manga either, is it? I think this is actually a chapter book. And the whole shelf fell. Let me see. Oh no, it is manga. Okay, cool. You can tell I haven't read it yet. Hello. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I did see the movie and I do plan on reading this eventually. It's just that the size really intimidates me. And I've been in a reading slump this year, so meh. But it's a good movie. Um, I'm not really a fan of Mamoru Hosoda's stuff, but I really enjoyed Wolf Children, so yeah. Anyway, that's <laughs> my big, 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 big manga collection. And of course, I do plan on collecting more in the future. So I hope you enjoyed this very long video. <laughs> It'll probably be longer once I collect more. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye! Hey guys, it's Clover again, like three days later. Um, turns out I missed out on showing some books because they were in the other room with a bunch of books in English, like chapter books that hadn't been sorted yet, so I'm gonna go through them right now. So the first one is Clover. Haha. <laughs> yes, I bought it because it's my name, but also because it's from Clamp and I like their artwork, even though their stories are kind of eh for me. Like, they're hit and miss. I love Card Captor Sakura, but like, some of their stuff can be a little contrived. So yeah, this is like the complete. Thing, and um, it is really beat up because I lent it to a friend and yeah I don't lend manga to friends anymore even though I borrow manga from my friends but that's beside the point ah oh, so pretty yes by the way, um, this manga, yeah, see, see what I mean? Some of the pages are coming out because I lent it to that friend. But anyway, um, this page right here is the inspiration for the wings of my mascot on my gaming channel. That's pretty much dead right now, but yes, very nice. Like the art. Um, so the rest are just art books, because I really like manga artwork. So, yes, very rare and expensive Sailor Moon art book. I believe this is the third art book? Yeah, it says volume three right there. So, has all of the Sailor Senshi on the front and back. And... Some very nice illustrations on the inside. Yes! Yes, Sailor Saturn, yes! She's my favorite! Oh my god, they all have pink hair, yes! I'm sorry, I get so excited about Sailor Moon, like... Like, come on. <laughs> okay, um, the next one is actually not an art book, so I lied. This is the, um manga-ish book for A Link to the Past, so um, it reads this way, though, but I think they did that. Oh, it's kind of more of a comic book. It's like the classic art style that you would see in, like, Nintendo Power comics, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, it's basically just Link to the Past in comic book form, so... Yay, but I keep it with my manga because it was created in Japan, so... <laughs> Fight me. <laughs> okay, uh, actually, I want to show this one first because this is volume one of Naruto art books. I think there's like three now, but I only own two because I kind of grew out of Naruto. Like, 
I didn't really grow out of Naruto because I still like watch it and stuff sometimes, but I don't know, like halfway through Shippuden, I was just tired out. The series is too long, man. Too long. Too long. Okay. Oh, that's a nice one. I mean, there's some nice stuff in here, like... Yee! Sorry. <laughs> that's a nice one. Like, come on, man. Some of these... Some of these drawings... Yeah. Just them all chillin'. Wait. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I was like, where's Sasuke? He's over on, on that rock over there. I'll buy him lonesome, of course. Okay. Very nice. So, yeah. Okay, and this is volume two, as you can see, by his Shippudenness. Mm, very, very nice. I don't know, sometimes I just like looking through the art books. Oh, that's a nice one. Hmm. All right, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> so much pretty art. And the last one is, whoops, it's upside down. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell with their pose. But it is the Vampire Knight art book. Um, yeah, probably one of the worst English dubs I have ever watched. But if you watch the Japanese version, it's all right. Um, just... The main character, Yuki, is really dumb, but if you can get past her being absolutely stupid and airheadish, then you will enjoy the series because it does have a quite nice art style and um, the story can be a little overcomplicated sometimes, but um, it has some pretty compelling characters. I like her... I like him. Don't like her. But I like him. Love her. Like, oh my god. She she is my gothic Lolita aesthetic. Totally. Mm, very, very nice. Very nice art. So, it's one of my favorite dresses from uh, the manga covers. Zero. I don't like Zero. I like his twin brother better. Yeah, there's the two of them together. Another one of the two of them together. And I think, yeah, I think this whole page is just like, look at them <laughs> kind of thing. Oh, God, there's so much of that. Okay, that's better, showing off some of the other characters. I think, like, Zero was the artist's favorite to draw or something. I don't know, but... Very nice. Very nice. So, yeah. Good, good art. I did have one more art book, um, and that was a Chobits art book, but I lost it and I can't find it anywhere, so hopefully I'll find it one day or repurchase it or something. But anyway, um, yeah, I just made this video way longer than it needed to be because I got distracted by the pretty arts. Anyway, um, yeah. Rambling. Okay, bye.